hey guys um i wanted to talk about the last build of 2019 from easy pc and uh, this is kind of special because this is also the um uh, best consumer processor out there so ryzen 9 3950x 16 core and 32 thread processor uh, i thought it was only appropriate to have thanos uh stand right next to it so what we've done here is uh, we've used um, all pc cooler fans even on the um cooler uh, on the 30 360 mm aio which is a silver stone uh the problem was we couldn't i couldn't get the um argb controller the antec prism to power all the fans Uh, the three silver stone fans and the three antec prism fans uh, it's pretty inadequate um maybe if we had two we could have daisy chained them but this is a much more elegant solution there's just one controller now and uh, the controller powers uh, controls the lighting on the seven fans you see here uh, plus the cpu um, what do you call that the um, pattern on the cpu cooler and also the led on top so the led has been cut short to just cover that portion um yeah that's about it so all of this is controlled by the pc cooler uh, argb controller which is behind the case and uh, yeah so the remote okay let me quickly open the case so all this time it was a little yeah looks it must be much clearer now because there's still the plastic wrap on top of the glass which we typically don't take it off let the customer do it themselves um yeah the customer do it himself or herself yeah okay so what we've used here is the asrock x570 uh, tai chi motherboard it's a really nice looking motherboard um it's got this solid um m.2 shield this is this is a massive shield taking it off is a little confusing but then yeah it, it looks really nice it gives this really nice black and gray kind of a theme and also some white so we decided to use um this tweak pc sleeve cables which are white in color which stands off um sets off really well against the uh, black and gray background and uh, the colors the colors of the fans can also be controlled we have a small remote from pc cooler and that can uh, there is m button on it maybe you can't see it in this light but once you press that the whole look and feel of this changes so we keep pressing the button we can circle through cycle through multiple color options so all of this is on the remote um, so this remote is pretty handy so let me just go through all the options okay this i think this is probably my favorite because um just cycles through colors very slowly and it looks really nice or is this the same color okay so depending on the mode this mode uh, it holds at the same color it's static so i can change the color there's an option to change the color as well i click on that no it doesn't work maybe not okay let me try another mode yeah so this is cycling through slowly and it looks pretty nice huh? okay let's just give it a few more seconds i think i would want to see what color comes next after yellow so yellow is slowly turning into green i guess yeah it's kind of green now i love how the transition is really slow and i think this is going to go into blue okay so let's go to the next mode this is kind of like the i don't know what this mode is called yeah like water going moving across some object and let's try the next one 
this is breathing i guess this is kind of similar to the second last mode this is stacking i think this is called stacking here i think you can change the color yeah check this out so purple red yellow green yellow plus green so they are like dual colors now we are not back to one color i guess now it's blue plus pink then blue right all right let's go to the next mode this is almost pretty nice okay let's go to the next one assuming this is static if it is static i should be able to change the color yeah so let me put it to all white yeah this is all white i think this is where we started initially blue oh, i love this color red yellow green pink all right um so we went through all the modes so there are three more so there are options to control the speed as well so okay you really can't see the remote on this so there are three buttons at the bottom the lowermost one slows it down the middle one speeds it up and the last one gives it like yeah, makes it go all out so if you're going to play some intense games or run some kind of a rendering application or something which is going to put pressure on the cpu and gpu uh, you might as well run the high end mode uh, the fast the yeah so this remote you can also control uh, you can also give control to the motherboard through this fr there's an frgb button on it so if you have connected the uh, motherboard argb 5 pin sorry the 5 volt 3 pin header to the controllers uh, the particular output then you can actually pass the control the rgb control to the motherboard so then you can do that and now the control is with the motherboard and if you notice the ram is not going to change so oh, sorry the ram is also going to change earlier the ram stayed at white so now i'm going to choose purple okay, the brightness is white okay. okay it's not clearly visible ah check this out the uh, ram also change shades so this is um if you really like one particular color if you don't really change your colors frequently you can uh, set the ram to a neutral color and then you can control it using the remote if not you can actually go to the app the azure of polychrome sync which is kind of buggy and keeps crashing but if you kill it in the task manager and get it running you can go into the different modes so it it has pretty much uh, same kind of modes as the the remote but because the ram also syncs uh, with everything else this looks a lot nicer check this out it goes completely dark and then comes back up it looks pretty nice this type purple uh, is my favorite color camera is going out of focus okay just white cool what else is there this is cycling this is like the epilepsy mode i don't like this random ah, random is weird i don't know why anybody want to would use random strobe yeah this is also an epilepsy mode something called neon oh this is interesting it's like a checkered flag can you change the color mhm mm not sure i like this it's not too bad though yeah this looks pretty nice all right there's something called water I think I like this mode. 
really nice. Okay, let's try a different color, orange. There are a few other modes which are not enabled, I'm not sure why. So yeah, anyway, we're not going to go through all of them. Or maybe some of these are linked to a certain app. Uh, like this the music I think you'll have to I'll have to I don't know synchronize it with sound somehow we're not going to try that out right now rainbow of course rainbow yeah I love this wow sick all right so you're also dealing the ram but then i would why would i do that all right so that's the uh, tour of how the lighting works on the system um, let me just quickly run you through what we have on this there's a ryzen 3950x azure of tai chi motherboard um, there's a pioneer 1tb nvme um, XPG D40 3600 MHz 8 into 2 sorry 2 into 8 GB uh, RAM really fast RAM Twitch PC white cables and uh, Silverstone PF360 we've replaced all the fans we also got the we also got the Antec Prism um, 3 fan kit but yeah, that was a little disappointing. So I swapped it out. Uh, there's also the, the the RGB strip is from there, so at least it was not completely useless. That's about it. And the case, so this case is actually pretty nice. If you want, uh, if you want a liquid cooling setup, this case could be a nice way to showcase it. It's got the front and the left glass uh, glass panels. And it's got a very nice, um, what do you call this, uh, door uh, kind of a window. So the window is like a door and it's all glass. Um, so it, it completely reduces the, or removes the hassle of opening screws each time. So that's really, really useful. Because I can't, um, I know the no number of people who've, I know a large number of people who've broken their, case glass by opening it and not unscrewing it or screwing it in too tightly yeah so this is a really useful feature um, other than that this case uh, has got a few problems as well but uh, for the price point um, considering it's based on the Lian Li and it's kind of similar it offers some of the benefits of the Lian Li including the bottom and side ventilation and the ability to use uh, two 360 mm radiators it's not a bad case at all for the price it is uh, for the price it is sold in india it's not a bad bad case at all it gives you plenty of room to work with uh, a lot of place to showcase a ton of things if you have really nice fans like these very nice way to showcase showcase them using this case of course you'll have to keep cleaning the glass on and off because it's going to catch fingerprints and dust quite easily um, it's a little heavy on the heavier side and it's also a larger case the power supply is on top which is a little weird to build in because um, Cable management, usually the cables, um, you tend to get them down and all the space on this case is on top. The so things don't necessarily line up all the time. So it was a bit of a struggle to uh, cable manage um, at the end of this. It's also because the controller and the um, fan sleeved cables are um, they need space, right? So, slide, fan sleeve cab cables occupy space. The quick PC sleeve cables occupy space. So, getting all of them um, compactly set on the other side was a bit of a challenge. 
So I spent a lot of time on that, used a lot of uh, cables, a lot of zip tie, no, actually not a, not a lot of zip ties, used a lot of Velcro because it looks much nicer that way and it's easier to open and you know add another cable into a bunch if required um, yeah that's about it I'm, I'm gonna just post pictures of the other side I'm not gonna do a video of that mm -hmm. maybe you can just get a close up of this RAM, XPG D40, the Inno 3D 2060 Super X2, it's a very basic GPU, but for this particular build, it's more than adequate. It's not a gaming rig per se, it's more of a workstation, uh, with still maybe a little bit of gaming, so that's the reason we didn't go all out with a 2080 Ti or something like that. That's about it. Thanks for watching guys.